The new Monster Hunter game is wild. Wow. But I need to wait until next year then only I can play. After watching the trailer, I think I cannot touch any other games anymore. My brain can only accept Mon Hunt, Mon Hunt, Mon Hunt. I want to play Monster Hunter games wherever and whenever I can. Since I have to do a lot of adulting stuff, like go to work, go cook. I, I don't actually cook. <laughs> I need to wash plate, I need to tidy up my house, I need to do this and do that. Where do I have time to go sit down on my desktop and play Monster Hunter? No very hard for me to find time to play games right now. Which is why I think the ROG Ally and also the Steam Deck will be perfect for me because I can game on the go. But in Malaysia, it's going to cost me like an arm or a, or a leg to buy them. La. It's very expensive. But what if I tell you, you can actually play Monster Hunter on your phone. I know, I know, Steam Link is not new. But hear me out. Last I checked, right, the Steam Link doesn't even have much control over stream settings. The user experience was terrible. But now we can do much more advanced settings like adjusting resolution, bit rate. I can even hit 120 FPS. But, but what about the latency? Albert? What about the latency? To be honest, I don't really have much issue for the latency because most of the games I play are more story based, like Resident Evil, like maybe Monster Hunter. And those games really won't be affected by adding just a sleep latency. The latency feels instant. And also my internet speed is actually 500 upload and download. I will have occasional hiccups but not really a big issue. And also my, my house is also very small so even though I go the furthest away from my Wi-Fi router, I still can play. So I don't really have much issue over gaming on cloud. My experience was the stream quality looks and feels the same as gaming on device. So one thing that intrigues me the most right is that I can manually use the PC cloud to put my system into sleep and also wake my system up. So you don't actually need to operate your, your PC or your desktop or your other devices manually. Anyway, cloud gaming solely on phone without controllers were, were a nightmare. The touch controls feedback were not accurate. So I find myself missing a lot of inputs a lot of time. For me, if you want me to maximize my PC cloud gaming experience, I would definitely need a controller in order to enjoy the experience to the fullest. Playing on touchscreen is really a nightmare. You know, I can't believe that there are some people who can play PUBG or COD Mobile on tablet, like even better than I'm using on mouse and controller. So, <laughs> bro, respect. <laughs> I'm actually testing the device on the ROG Phone 8. I also have my my own iPhone. I, I've been testing on both devices. Lah. So one thing is why iPhone 11 doesn't work, at least for me. The screen and resolution aspect ratio might have might be different. If we compare both iPhones and Android, Android phones usually have a taller screen. It's more closer to a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. And then also the screen quality of uh, my iPhone 11 is not really that good anymore like comparing to the you know, ROG Phone 8 OLED. Wi-Fi is also slower on, on my phone. And uh, of course, my iPhone 11 is just running on 4G right now. <laughs> the ROG Phone 8, as mentioned, it has also 120Hz display, a very good battery life bigger than my iPhone 11. Uh, iPhone 11. So, I, now I already have the phone of choice. I also know I must have a controller to en in order to enjoy my PC cloud gaming. <laughs> you would imagine I would be using the controller, the PS5 controller, and attaching <laughs> the phone on top uh, like this. but it doesn't make sense right it feels more very awkward that you will you will see people run walking around gaming like this <laughs> but that's why i'm very interested in the uh, the new rg tessen the tessen allows me to connect to the rg phone 8 via type c so i don't have any latency here we have it this is the most ideal form factor in my opinion right now. The setup is a very easy process. You can just go to the Steam application, go to settings, and then you will see a, a remote play settings over there. Then you can connect to your devices. After you connect your devices to the Steam application, then you will be uh, greeted on this menu interface. If you, I press start playing, it boots into a Steam uh, big picture mode. So it's just like Steam Deck, you know. I'm literally playing Monster Hunter on Android right now. See, that, that blew my mind when I first know that I can do this. But if you notice, right, another problem I, that we are going to face is we have the black bars on the side here. What's special about PC Cloud Gaming is I can go to settings and make the game ultra wide, 21 by 9 aspect ratio. See, now it's it's almost occupying the full screen already. So this is really by far 
the most impressive things about the PC Cloud Gaming for me? What are the controller options available for Android system? Like ROG Tyson is a very great option because first thing is it has a very good design it complements the ROG Phone 8 for me very well and then uh, it is very easy to use also because it's type C it can connect to almost uh, a lot of the other Android devices iPhone 15 is using type C also it has very clicky button uh, yeah it has a very click clicky button very responsive and the joysticks is very actually quite enjoyable to use for me my experience is I can probably game on this controller about one to two hours after two hours my arm will feel sore like, because the, there's not much room to grip over here uh, but it's a lot better than i expected it's a lot better than nintendo switch controllers uh, the joysticks is also uh, i find it very good it's just that it's not hall effect for now like. i hope the controller is bigger next time the controller is not very bulky some more we can uh, bend the controller and so we can put it in our bag much more easier so i like this very much that's why i think the controller can make use of a bigger size personally i don't really use macro keys if you want you have the option the macro keys two macro key buttons behind the controller one thing i realized is uh the backbone controller when we stretch right the backbone controller is much more smoother overall build i think the backbone is a little bit better than the rg tesson but but doesn't have the micro keys if i'm not mistaken yeah at the same time the backbone is more expensive than the rg tesson so i do think this is a very good buy so does pc cloud gaming works in malaysia honestly speaking yes however to make it truly viable i think there are few steps we have to make in order to uh, improve or maximize our experience so first thing is you have to set up the prompt to wake so it feels like you're turning on the gaming pc using your phone and turning off so 5g connectivity right 4g in my in my experience is very laggy and it's very hard to play cloud gaming lah. i asked around my friend to test 5g connectivity also i think the experience is much more consistent and much more reliable but uh, I think user experience may vary. There are also some other Shopee alternatives that are much cheaper. That I will link them down below. La. I've never tried them, but I just find I just find they there are interesting options in Shopee. Honestly speaking, right, there's only so much time I can cover for this video. For example, we can compare the experience be between gaming on handheld versus cloud gaming, right? And also what budget and what methods makes more sense. So I hope this video helps you out if you have other ways of improving the experience please let me know down in the comments down below uh, i hope you are looking forward to more videos like this in the future i'll see you guys next time